Can you make a video explaining Japan's decision on nuclear water disposal? Yeah, sure. Uh, this has been uh, a topic of a lot of interest due to the headlines of the press. And what it comes down to is what are the impacts of the waste that you generate from technology? Now, every technology, solar, wind, making watches, making clothing, making books and uh, glass cell phones, all of this makes waste. And that waste needs to be safely disposed of. Now, who decides what is safe disposal? Well, it comes down to experts. Now, usually they're going to be regulators, but there are international bodies as well that can advise on what is considered safe disposal for the waste that comes from technology. What is the way that we minimize the environmental impact or any kind of health impacts from that waste? And when it comes to when, with nuclear energy, it does generate waste, but it's an extremely small amount of waste compared to the energy that you get from it. Now, you can say, well, I don't want any waste. And that's all fine and good, but it does mean that we would really have to go back to hunter-gatherer societies and subsidence in the sense that if we're going to control nature, there's going to be waste that's generated from it. And especially with technology, there's going to be toxic waste. Now, it is true that nuclear does produce the smallest amount of waste for the amount of energy that you get for all of the different energy sources that are out there, but that doesn't mean that you can just willy-nilly throw any of it away. That, uh, all right, well, since it's the most environmentally friendly and it's the most energy dense and it has the least number of deaths per kilowatt hour, you can do whatever you want. That is absolutely not the way that it works, just the opposite. The way that we keep it having the lowest number of deaths per kilowatt hour and the smallest environmental footprint is that we make sure that when we dispose of the waste, it's a negligible fraction of the harm that would be caused from comparable energy sources, say solar and wind or something like that. And so nuclear power plants, they actually do release hundreds of curies of tritium every year. Even if you go to any country like South Korea that might be complaining about it, their nuclear power plants reduce, release potentially hundreds of many hundreds of curies per year of tritium into the environment. Same with China, anybody that's complaining about nuclear energy, if you have nuclear power plants, you're releasing tritium into the environment. Now, the key is, is that that's got to be an arbitrarily small fraction of what's already there. Uh, there are already around something like 300 million curies of tritium naturally in the environment, just created every year by cosmic ray bombardment, uh, a spallation occurring in the upper atmosphere with the air. Just the same process that creates carbon-14, it creates natural tritium. And so you want it to be an a, 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 a arbitrarily small fraction of that that's naturally occurring. And then you know it doesn't have any environmental impact because it's already there and it's just a negligibly small fraction of what's already there that's being put into the environment. And the dose that you get from that is an arbitrarily small fraction of the natural dose that you get just from uranium and thorium in the ground, radon in the air, potassium in our bodies. All of those radiation sources uh, are, are, are things that you consider when you need it to be an arbitrarily small fraction of all of those. And that's what nuclear does. It makes it an arbitrarily small fraction of what's already there, what you're already getting. Uh, remember, the, the uranium from which the nuclear fuel came, it came from the Earth. We just concentrated it. And so when you dispose of it, you need to do it in a responsible way, just like you do with any other technology. When you mine something out and you concentrate it, the waste products have to be safely disposed of. And so by not taking into context the, the risk to benefit, it's easy to say any waste is intolerable. Any waste, no matter how small the impact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure it in units that make it sound huge, that make it sound deadly, that make it sound evil. And that tends to be what we get from the media uh, when it comes to nuclear energy. So I hope that helped. Hope that answered the question. Thanks for asking it. Have a good day.